All I'm saying is that when we carve the pumpkins, I want to put the pumpkin seeds in the oven and bake them. Right, but we did that like two years ago and we burnt the heck out of them. So yeah. I just we are better think mastered we're gonna... in the kitchen area now. Wait, then uh, I don't... we isn't me. Okay. We isn't me. Do you know do we have anything for it? Like we I just have a baking feel like sheet. A baking sheet. And, and we'll put them on that and then we'll put it don't in you the oven. Put, like, salt. It's salt? Sure. That's it. Maybe oil. It's just salt, oil. And it just seems like seeds. a lot of work. It's a I lot of work it. to put a seed on a tray and put it in the oven. Yeah, I mean, yeah, go do I Ivy Heads. Snack go I do Ivy Heads. Oh, you're right. What is up, guys? And welcome to Ivy Heads Sketch Show, episode 32. Sam, it's October 30th. Please tell me this is about to be a Halloween themed episode. Yes, it is. I got some fun, spooky, and fall stuff heading your way. Uh, can I be honest with you guys though? Um, I'm really not in a Halloween mood. Um, I don't, I don't feel like dressing up. I don't see the point. Um, I don't, I don't want candy corn. I don't want caramel apples. I'll take pumpkin stuff though. But for, for real, I, I, I really don't want to celebrate Halloween. And I, I mean, I kind of think you guys know why. Because earlier this month on the 15th, Kelly Clarkson released her newest Christmas album called When Christmas Comes Around. Whoa! It's Christmas! Now for those of you that know me very well, you might know that I do not like Christmas, nor do I like Christmas music, and I've got bad news for you. You don't know me at all this year because I love Christmas and I love Christmas music. Here's a fun fact. This is Kelly Clarkson's second Christmas album, but it's the first one I've ever bought. <gasps> Sam, there's a Kelly Clarkson album you've never purchased? Yep! When Wrapped in Red, Kelly Clarkson's first Christmas album, came out back in 2013, I had all intentions of buying it. I even made the trip out to Target to buy it because I had yet to learn how the World Wide Web worked. I went to the CD section. I picked the CD up. Then I turned it around and looked at the track list. And thank goodness I did because track number nine was Winter Dreams. And in parentheses, it said Brandon's song. So my gay butt put that heterosexual love letter back on the shelves. So some brunette in a tennis score who used all of her minutes on her Nokia phone back in 2002 to vote for Kelly Clarkson on American Idol could buy it instead. That is a real description of the other 98% of Kelly Clarkson fans. I know that. I'm an outlier. I got it. Funny thing is, Rachel actually went back to the store and bought it for me. She gave it to me as a Christmas gift and told me that uh, she knew that I secretly wanted it. And I didn't, it actually stayed in the cellophane. I never opened it and I lost it in one of my moves. I don't feel bad about it either. Kelly hurt me. She made it up to me though, cause this new album, look, fire. Kelly is now divorced from Brandon Blackstock, forced to give him $150,000 a month in spousal support, but willingly giving him heat in this new album. <laughs> Don't believe me? Uh, listen to one of her original tracks titled Christmas Isn't Cancelled, Just You. It's 100% about him. Ooh. I, I forgive her. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the Halloween episode or whatever. Let's get through it. COVID-19 shut the whole world down. Serious stuff but can't stop me from being a clown. Spent my quarantine making a video too. Got obsessed with all of them clicks and views and I was scrolling through mine and my own beautiful comment when i read it with my eyes that both shed a tear it read tear lee kavanaugh be got me here over here and now you're watching the ivy head sketch show did you ask for it no but i just can't let this comedy go so here's a whole show with ivy head material and now you're watching the ivy head sketch show did you ask for it no but i just can't let this comedy go so here's a whole show with ivy head material Rach? What? Okay, so I have some couples costumes ideas. Uh, is it okay if I run some by you? I guess. All right, here we go. Okay. 
These are gonna be great. So we always do couples costumes. You know how we are. Oh, always. Okay. Oh, always. Yeah, we do. Okay, so I've prepared a list of couples costumes. Okay. A bottle of mustard and then a bottle of mustard. No, okay. A tea bag and lukewarm water. How, how would you even do that? Not compatible, you're right. Um, a pen that's out of ink and an old envelope. You call me old? No. An iPhone and an Android charger. We didn't go together that well. Wow. <laughs> okay. What? Here we go, here we go. This, this is us in 2015. Ready? Okay. Cat poop and bargain litter. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah? Not. Okay. All right. <clears throat> A girl with a sketch show and five below. That's a match made in heaven. Okay. Kind of. Is that right? Okay. Anakin Skywalker and a murdered youngling. Sam! I would be Anakin Skywalker. That's... Moving on. Okay. Oh, this one's really good. Samantha Ivy and Kelly Clarkson. Okay. Okay. Not that one. Not that one. Okay. So no couples. Go away! Okay. Hi guys, it's Dave. Um, Sam asked me to write a song for this Halloween themed episode of Ivy Heads. <laughs> anyway, um, I like Halloween, but probably not for the typical reason that other guys like Halloween. So hopefully you still like it. Um, also Sam learned how to play ukulele for this, so appreciate it. Like I appreciate a strawberry pop tart. <laughs> Halloween is fine with me, but I'm not into murdering crazy masks, wielding chainsaws, eggs people's houses, they worked hard to pay off. To me, these things seem silly, but they're supposed to be manly. But Halloween is about trick or treat. Am I a soft guy if it's the latter for me? Cause I like apple spice and I like bonfires and I think it's a miracle that the leaves magically change colors and I'm sure there's a scientific reason but I didn't pay attention in school and looking back how smart cause now magic is real to me how cool I'm carving pumpkins with my friends then they blow them up with firecrackers cause all my friends are boys Ugh. <laughs> Just kidding, that actually, that part is really cool. <laughs> like one time, oh, my friend Toby and I blew up a pumpkin, right? And the stem of the pumpkin rocketed into his foot right next to his pinky toe. <laughs> we didn't pull it out. <laughs> so now every time Toby runs around with his sock off and his foot's out, a birdie will fly over and perch on it. Oh, right, the song. Halloween is fine with me, but I'm not into murdering crazy masks, wielding chainsaws, eggs, people's houses, they worked hard to pay off. No, give me cozy fall blankets, give me pumpkin spice lattes. Halloween, I love everything that my friend Brexley posts about on her Instagram page. Halloween is fine with me, Halloween is fine with me, Halloween is fine. <laughs> Oh gosh, I think I'm burning my pumpkin seeds. You're watching some sketches by me, but that's not it. I could use some help. So here's a friend clip. Joe Sensabella. Joe frequents every single open mic Central Florida has to offer. The hustle is real. He is on the grind. If you are a Florida comic and you don't know who Joe Sensabella is, I got news for you. You are not a Florida comic. There's no way you haven't met him. He is an absolute sweetheart unless you ask the guy that sells Flex Seal, Phil Swift. You're not going to understand that joke until you follow my boy on Instagram and TikTok. Do you want to get the joke or not? 
Also, be sure to check out his and Jake Rika's podcast, Cup of Jokes. The chemistry these two men have is phenomenal. But you know that because you just watched a video that had Jake Rika in it. So, boom! All right. I love you, Joe. <laughs> you guys want to see me do that for the next two to three minutes? No? You probably want to see some shorter clips, maybe 10 to 15 seconds, about Rachel and I yelling at each other about our cats. That's oddly specific, but I'll pander. Rachel. What? That is a that is a predator. He's not a predator. What are you? We're blooping. Bloop, 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 bloop. My cat sleeps exactly how I sleep. On that booty. Oh, what the heck? Rachel. What? Jordy is starving, bro. There's food everywhere. Nah, bro, she needs you to fluff it. I'm not fluffing it. She needs to quit being bougie. Rachel, why are you yelling at the cats, bro? Well, she, she's over here trying to eat my sage. Isn't sage That's supposed not, to bring peace into the healthy. home? Hello and welcome to Who's That Horror Villain? Horror. Now, horror. horror. Don't make me say it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for this segment, what's going to go down is um, I'm terrible with names, let alone so fictional bad. ones. So, so I'm going to be t testing Rachel's knowledge on horror movie uh, villains. So I'm going to make a statement as if I am the murderer, and then she has to guess who I am. And if she gets it right, I will reward her with a treat. I get a treat. That is correct. I love treats. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's not a cat treat, right? No. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I oh, wear a treat bag. Yes, this is a treat bag. I wear hockey mask. A hockey mask. Jason. When I. Jason Voorhees. Okay. I didn't separate the treat. So well, just, if you yeah. get how many? If what? you get more than half. Okay, that's fair. Okay, that's I will fair. give you the treat, and then there is a final treat for a bonus. A final treat? Yes. Okay. Oh no! I'm covered in pig's blood. Harry. Wow, that was good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you better leave me in this case, or I'm gonna be your kid's new imaginary friend. Chucky? No. Leave me in the case? I have to stay in my case. I'm gonna be, be friends here. with your kid, you're going to be like, that's that kid's imaginary friend, but I'm not. What? Annabelle. Oh. I almost said Insidious. <laughs> that would have been close, actually. Yeah. You should have done that. <laughs> Oops. So that's a fail. Mm. You failed that one. Next. Okay. Thank you, next. I'm like Dwight from The Walking Dead, but like all over. Freddy Krueger? Yeah. <laughs> That's so rude. <laughs> so these aren't necessarily like lines from in the no! movie. No! Oh! I'm describing myself. Okay. Do you, okay. Did you ever hear, I wear a hockey mask when I kill? No. Is that what Jason <laughs> oh, yeah, said? yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Jason, when he talks, such a talkative okay. man, that next. Jason. Thank you, next. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Hello, I wear a hockey mask when I kill. <laughs> Say my name five times in a mirror. Candyman. Wow, that was really fast. That was <laughs> I just watched Candyman fast. three the other night. All right. I'm coughing up blood, and I'm covering it up with roses. Hunger Games. What's his name? The... What's his name? Oh my, oh my god. god! You don't know. I know. I'm just caught off guard. We have a cat named Primrose, and you don't know. I. I said the movie. You didn't say I had to say the character. You said I could just say but the movie. But it's kind of disturbing that you don't know President the character. Snow. Thank you. Oof. Oof. I'm so sorry also, for Hunger what Also, Hunger Games is not a horror movie. It is for me. <laughs> you want your prize? Because you got more than, more than half. Is there more questions? There's one more, but I have a grand prize. Okay. So here's your regular prize. Since it is Halloween, I got you candy corn. I hate candy corn. I did not know that. You literally didn't know that. I've never once eaten it in 10 years, and you have. I eat it. And I tell you that it's gross, and it tastes like wax. Next. Big prize. Big prize. <laughs> Next question. Big prize. Next question. But I got you. Next You're going to love it. Question. I'm super gross, talk super fast, and like hearing other people say my name. 
I'm super gross, gross, talk super fast, and like hearing other people say my name. This one's a little... Yeah, I have no idea. You see, I like to hear people say my name three times. Three times? Mm -hmm. Bloody super, Mary? Super gross? What is Bloody Mary? What is that? A vacation? No, that's... that's <laughs> Bloody Mary. You say it in the mirror. Oh, you do? I didn't know that. I thought it was a drink. I am an <laughs> Wow. So, hold on. Super gross. Super gross. Super gross. Think okay. of a super gross villain. Okay? Talks super fast. Talks okay. fast? Talks really fast. Come here. And he likes hearing people say my name. Thanos? Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice! How did I not get that? Where's but my... I would have also accepted me. Because that's also accurate. You're not super gross. That is so kind. I will give you the grand prize. prize. I will give you the grand prize just be for being. Give nice. it to me. Okay. It is. Um. I should clutch my eyes. Ooh, it's Archie's candy corn. <laughs> I hate candy corn. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <hell>? <laughs> I did all the research for the horror villains and did not research your taste in candy. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us in this. This is bullshit. <laughs> Screw you and your questions. <laughs> I really, you don't like candy corn? You know what it is. Take it back and get me something different. You know what it is, is Kelly Clarkson, that's one of her favorite treats is candy corn. So I just got it confused between the two women. I hate you. Okay. All right. charge of assigning candies that don't sell very well to certain holidays. Okay, so just me, you, and Bradley? Yes, Kate. This, um, this doesn't make any sense. I know, I know. Some of these candies are absolutely horrendous. The idea that if we assign them to certain holidays, it will trick people into eating them. Okay, <laughs> silly. Silly. American families all across this country take a jar of cranberry gelatin that expires in the year 2076, and they put it in the center of their Thanksgiving table, you will be surprised what marketing can do. I just meant, why are we all here? Why us? Well, you design candy wrappers. Yeah, no, I make some sense. But Rick, you work on the seventh floor as a janitor and Bradley just woke up from a coma. Yeah, but that was after you got hit with a truck filled with milk duds. Milk dud sales skyrocketed. They haven't been that high since 1986. So Bradley knows what he's doing. Yeah, I don't think Bradley did that one on purpose, Rick. But he did earn himself a lifetime supply of milk duds. I honestly can't stop eating them. Okay, no, I'm sorry, is that a coma joke? Oh, no, that's a milk dud stick to your teeth joke. Yeah, um, in this sketch, Bradley is fully recovered from his coma. Um, I don't want that kind of karma on me, okay? Okay, good, good. Yeah, I'm not, a, I am not making coma jokes. I'm not gonna use my comedy to make unnecessary jokes about a group of people that I'm not even a part of. Yeah, you aren't Dave Chappelle. No, 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 I'm not gonna make that joke either. People don't watch your show to hear your opinion, Sam. Get back to the fun stuff. Okay, first on the list is candy canes. How about Valentine's Day? The peppermint would make your breath fresh and people usually kiss on Valentine's Day. I was thinking Christmas. I love Christmas. Christmas colors are red and green. And candy canes are red and white. 
So what? Well, it's enough. So it's settled. It's not. Christmas it is. No. Yay! Okay, box of chocolates. I actually had one of those the other day, and the first candy was delicious. It had caramel on the inside. Bradley would have loved it. Mm -hmm. But the next chocolate I had had some, I don't know, it was pink, and I feel like they were going for strawberry flavored, but it just completely missed the mark. It was really gross. And I thought to myself, what a tricky mystery box of candy. Valentine's Day! I was thinking Halloween because it's literally a trick and a treat. Yeah! I like Valentine's Day. Yes! Can I at least design a heart-shaped box for them to go in? Yeah, sure. Romantic. Okay, candy corn. A candy with corn in the title, shaped like a carrot. Please tell me we're about to say Easter. Halloween. No. It's orange. It's food dye. We could dye it pastel colors. Halloween! I can't tell if he's being aggressive or if it's the fact that his teeth are being held together with 1,200 calories worth of chocolate and caramel. Both. Let's just get to the point where you say Halloween. So it's unanimous. No, it's not. Huh, Halloween it is. All right, robin eggs. You know, what do you think? I'm not even going to bother picking. What, what holiday would you pick? Easter. Uh-huh. Is that the holiday you were thinking of, Kate? N no, I was thinking New Year's because eggs bring new life and the New Year's is supposed to be a new start, but Easter makes sense. A bunny laying eggs, right? We should throw peeps on Easter too. Good thinking. I don't think I'm familiar with peeps. Oh, they are marshmallow birds. Oh, so they lay the eggs. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. So bird-shaped marshmallows. Um, that actually doesn't sound very special. They are covered head to toe in brightly colored sugar. Very similar to glitter. Like Kesha in the 2010s. They are attractive bird marshmallows. Okay, Bradley. I see you. <laughs> Gentlemen, honestly, like none of this candy placement seems right. Don't you get it, Kate? That's the point of the holidays. We all do a bunch of stuff that makes zero sense for the occasion. I am not following. We eat a big meal on Thanksgiving and then have an open bar on New Year's. Yeah, of course. Wouldn't it make more sense to have an open bar on the day that you have to spend with your entire family and your partner's entire family? Yes. And then have a gluttonous meal on the eve of the day you decide to start a diet. Oh my gosh. I've been wrong this whole time. Mm-hmm. Okay, next stop, licorice. You know, I think we're all out of holidays. Nah, now we're on the same page. And I'll see y'all next month. Wow. Is anybody else tired? I'm always tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there. Nope, let me out! She's not okay. Listen, I'm not trying to jinx anything here, but we did just get her a booster and the infections are trending downwards, so. Yeah, but this is still Florida. Heading into the holiday season. Mm, so give Ron some time for him to bring those numbers back up. I got it, I got it. An entire state of people who used to eat each other's faces off, struggling with social distancing. What did I do to deserve this kind of irony-filled death? She is, she is not okay. Is it because I used the same closer for five years? I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. Now she's blaming herself. Put me back on stage. I will write new material. I promise. Now she's just lying. She gonna get back on stage at that same old car bit. <laughs> Look at me, where's the starter? It's like I'm playing whack-a-mole up underneath the hood. <laughs> Your opening monologue to this show was just you talking about somebody else's art. You know, I'm beginning to think that we just shouldn't let her out, right? She's bitter. I swear 
If Florida doesn't get themselves together, I'm gonna be doing stand-up looking like a beekeeper. I couldn't talk. Like, that was the scariest thing I've ever been through. The scariest? Weren't you in, like, a car wreck once? If it didn't happen on screen, it didn't happen to me. Oh, okay. Writer, are you okay? Yeah, I just don't know why it's so hard to stay awake. I mean, we've grown a lot on TikTok, and we've been splitting our focus between that and then also doing this show. I mean, on TikTok, we're filming, editing, going live, responding to comments. Like, it doesn't seem like much, but it can add up. Plus, we've been putting up more videos on YouTube with Rachel. So we should take a break? They always want a break, like, every month, though. How about in December? For real? P Performer, are you okay with this? Considering I, like, only do this for attention, and I get a lot of attention during the holidays, I think I'll be good. So on December 30th, there will not be an episode of Ivy Heads. Yes! Yeah! However, Rachel and I will continue to make TikToks, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, and we will be sure to post a special uh, video on YouTube that month. Ah! You three are wussies! I did stand up for a solid decade with no breaks! Yo, she took plenty of breaks. What is she going on about? It took a global pandemic to take me down! Bro, she is so embarrassing. I'll see you in December. care if I sound desperate. Please give me compliments. Please! Now typically this is where I show you all of my social media handles, but I'm not going to. Uh, what I would really like you to do, if you haven't already, is go ahead and follow me on YouTube. And if you are actually watching this episode on YouTube, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> okay. Rachel and I are going to start posting exclusive content on YouTube very soon. So go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss it. And just trust that I'm not lying to you. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to, yeah, I'm going to follow through. It's me, guys. Wow, Sam, exclusive content? Where do I get more of that? Glad you asked. You did it. Patreon.com slash Samantha Ivy. You will get behind the scenes blooper reels every month. I will mention you in the next episode of Ivy Heads. I will name drop you so hard, bro. You also get full access to 15 episodes of my other show called Two Lesbos and Counting. I don't know what that is. Don't worry about it. About to drop a trailer on you. Okay, see you next month. Stay for the fun clip at the end. All right, whatever. Goodbye. Okay, bye. I was thinking it'd be really funny if for Halloween I was my GTA character. But you wouldn't really get it unless you really, really played GTA Online. My GTA character always wears an Arcade Geddon t-shirt. Arcade Geddon is the arcade located closest to the casino. And it's the smartest one to get if you consistently run the casino heist with your friends. The only problem is I can't find the Arcade Geddon t-shirt online, not even on Etsy. So I would have to get it custom printed by my friend. And then my character always carries an axe, so I'd have to buy that prop, pop on some skinny jeans and some Converse's, and boom, I would be my GTA character. I was gonna be a bottle of mustard. Oh, would you want me to be ketchup? No. Okay.
Ryzen. 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 Bye.